Welcome Exiles to a theory craft on reducing our AoE so far that we can hit every arrow with Reign of Arrows. This was an idea brought to me by my friend Theros, he came up with it, and it's the concept of using Wreath of Phreesia, but actually reducing our light radius in combination with reduced area of effect from something like a Simplex Amulet to get all the way up to 99% reduced AoE. If you go to 100%, which is we're over 100% with the current gear I have on right now, you actually cease to hit enemies. This The area, if it be go, goes below like basically non-existent, you no longer hit enemies. So we have to go to 99%, and I'll show you an example of what 99% would look like if we were to swap this ring out. It's not as clean, you know, it's a pretty still a tight grouping of arrows, and yeah, I can put on Conga Fact to make it a little bit tighter, more consistently. And this would be an example of, if we're at 99% reduced AoE, for most bosses, pretty much every arrow is going to hit. The idea was pretty simple. If we take something like Reign of Arrows, which at level 21 or 20, it goes to about 60% base damage with about 21 arrows fired. You can get an alt quality for 25 arrows. And with that sort of numbers, you're looking at a skill that hits for about 1500% base damage. That's a pretty big hit, and it allows you to have basically questionable gear to build around this mechanic to then hit the enemy hard enough. Now, the reason I'm making this video and not having an actually full, fully put toge together character with this is there are some issues. I was basically testing this because I wanted to be like, is this something I want to level and then play? And the issues are, well, for one, to get to 98 99% reduced AoE consistently without really, really good gear, you have to have Light Bane Raiment. As far as I can tell, the closest I can get in terms of reduced AoE without this chest piece on, I would have a 90% uh, reduced light radius for my rings, 25 from my boots, and I could get up to 48% reduced AoE as far as I can tell from a 16 difficulty Kalanda reflection. That would put me with a mineral light radius, iron circlet, wreath of Phreesia, that would put me at 98% reduced AoE. But unfortunately, if I have 98% uh, 98% reduced AOE. You'll see the difference between this is um, 99, for example. Let me showcase it real quick here, but I took out Rain of Arrows. This is 98 or 99%, and just reducing it to 98, already we're getting a, a more significant split of arrows. Still, most of them will probably hit, but it starts to get to the scenario where. I don't know if it will be consistent enough damage that it'll feel good. And then this, the moment you go to get gear that's more reasonable, i.e. gear that isn't max rolled uh, 45 percenters, looking at something like a, uh, oh, let's just put in a 40% ring here. The AOE starts to be like, okay, we're only hitting, you know, 25% of those arrows. Or we're only hitting 30% of those arrows. It starts to drop off significantly the worse your gear gets. And the reason this is so hard to get is one, to get a 45% reduced light radius ring, you need to one, have a natural occurrence to get the triple multi on the affix with just, if I were to try to make these like a catalyst and then do a difficulty 16, the highest I could hit would be 43% reduced light radius. This means naturally occurring rings with 45% reduced light radius, the likelihood that they're gonna have other good stats on them, they're not good. Your, your odds of having a good item become very bad. And right out the gate, when I make builds, I want, them, I want them to be builds people can replicate. And if I'm buying the one and only ring on the market that has 45% reduced light radius with some other good mods, it's not gonna be a replicatable build. The other thing about that is the amulet becomes extremely expensive. To get a difficulty 16 Kalandra reflection, you're looking at something like a 16 divine cost, this is a 45% reduced, uh, re reduced AOE, which is from like a difficulty 12 or something like that. But the difference in going from like 46 to 48 is basically doubling the area of effect you're hitting sort of thing. And so right out the gate, you have to spend a 16 divine cost just to make, and the crafting the amulet before that is a little bit difficult as well. I've tested it out myself. I was trying to craft it basically the other day. So what I'm saying is there are some issues. Now you can solve these issues in terms of how expensive and how ridiculously min max perfect roll these uh, ring and jewelry and amulet have to be by including something like a light bane raiment. This comes with 25% reduced light radius. Unfortunately, it's also a hunk of garbage. This chest piece sucks. I hate it so much. It makes me so mad that I was so close to making the build work and the only way I could get the last little bit of reduced light radius I need was from wearing this chest piece when chest pieces are so freaking valuable. The other issue with this chess piece is it, it wants you to convert to chaos and 
there's some interesting things like Iron Free, uh, Retha Freesha, where it says deal low chaos damage. So if you want to synergize with Light Bane Raiment, maybe go into a poison based setup, you have no synergy there because this says don't deal chaos damage. So there's some clear and obvious, basically, frictions to it. Maybe there's something I'm forgetting about. Maybe there's an alt quality that you can get reduced AoE. Really, what you need to get this build to go from super min maxed costly to affordable replicatable is about five to ten percent reduced aoe from some other source and i can't think of it i can't find it there's probably something i'm missing that somebody else knows in the comment which is part of the reason i'm making this video maybe there will be someone that says hey from this niche mechanic that isn't in the easily findable in the poe wiki you can get a little bit extra reduced aoe outside of using something like a light brain raiment moral of the story is there's just too much opportunity cost and how hard it is to craft this gear that I'm not going to end up making this build, even though I was kind of excited about the idea of having a really high reduced AOE rain of arrows and just hitting with every arrow. It's, 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 a cool, it's a cool thought of just raining down hell and just all hitting one precise target. But unfortunately, it has basically some, some issues. Issues being to get the reduced light radius rings, they don't really exist, not with good mods on them. This one was okay because I had some stats, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, moral of the story is the build falls short for a few reasons and the reasons I can't figure out how to solve but I wanted to make this video just to maybe throw it out there somebody who can theory craft better than me somebody who has some good ideas of how to get uh, that reduced AOE going something that I can't come up with myself because I'm I'm hitting a brick wall on it there's other characters I have theories for making and unfortunately for me this is where I draw the line on this one I wanted to go for 99% reduced AOE rain of arrows but unfortunately we couldn't pull it off so that is the video hopefully you enjoyed the concept of it um and hopefully next build I'll, I'll create something interesting this wasn't going to be one of the potential candidates but it just got fell short it, it got killed in the testing phase where there are too many issues uh that would be notable problems when i actually tried to put the character together so hopefully you've enjoyed the video as always take care exiles